age group is the one where you're going to see the most developmental growth because some kindergartners come in and they can't even write their name. And then by the end of the year, they can make animals, they can make people, they can recognizable images of something, and they feel very proud of themselves and very confident that they were able to do that. When a kindergartner comes to school and they start to talk about putting together stories, they don't start writing, they start making pictures. So it's really the first form of expression that children have. It's also about self-confidence because the kids feel successful at it. So if they love art in their creative process, they're always gonna be connected to art and that's important to me. You can use art as a way to show your emotions and your feelings. I really like that it's like there's like a variety, there's so many different kinds, so if you're not good at one kind, then you're probably going to be good at another kind. I just like how you can like express everything that you're feeling through and like no one will know. People can just be unique in their artwork and be themselves. It's really important for a child to experience all different genres and mediums and different products so that they start to feel comfortable to say, I can do this. It's really important for kids to engage in dialogue, to think creatively, to think critically, and probably most importantly to incite their imagination. And it's not just about drawing or doing art in its traditional sense. There's, you know, video and film and photo and installation art. And really, it kind of all surrounds us everywhere. And, and it's such an important, vital part of our everyday lives. At this age is important because it takes them to the middle school where the work gets harder, but it may inspire them to even go to the AP programs at the high school. So it's a connecting link. And at the end of the year, they've compiled a portfolio that shows growth.